I got to ride in 22 derbies. And uh, every derby was as special as the one before. I recall vividly the first time I rode in the race. Then comes music leader, the number 14 horse, Pat Day up. When you come out on the racetrack and they're playing my old Kentucky home, I mean, it'll, it'll grab you right here. I remember a big knot in my throat and tears were running out of my eyes. It was just, I was just crying. Every time I rode uh, from, from the first to the last, I had that same experience when I rode out on the racetrack and, and heard them playing my old Kentucky home. It was just a, uh, just a very emotional time, very special time. Number seven, Lil E.T. today. Pat Day has won everything Kentucky has to offer, almost. The winningest rider in Churchill Downs history, he's never won the Derby. He was a bit of a long, long priced uh, horse in the field, but one thing I do know about horse racing, if you're in them, you can win them. Lil E.T. on the outside, but Pat Day takes command. When Lil E.T. and I went past casual lives, there was a feeling that started way down deep in the pit of my stomach that just continued to grow with every jump as we neared the finish line. And, when we crossed the finish line, I just stood up and, and just went to screaming, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. That was the highlight of my career, uh, went in the Derby, uh, and then tremendously blessed to uh, have a statue, a statue um, in the Rose Garden next to Aristides, and uh, with my hands up raised and thanking the Lord.